Yay. Brand new racing stage. Nice. Oh, that's it, though? Wow. We must be running out of mini games if there's only one that got unlocked there. Oh, looks like it is going to be the boss here. Whoa, freaking 3D bell. Oh, that's neato. What, yin yarn? Dude, you've been absent the whole freaking game and now... Oh, God. Wait, what the hell are you doing? <gasps> Dude. You... You did not just... He just blanketed freaking Dreamland in Twilight. For you had to turn it to yarn, and now you have to freaking turn it into this shithole. What the hell is wrong with that guy? And he changed the music here too, and everything to something even more sinister. It's just or sinister, whatever. Do I want to go fight him now? I'm kind of pissed off at him now for doing all that. But I think I'll. I'll bite my tongue for a little bit longer because I have some stuff to attend to, like that mini game, and I have to go back really quick for this treasure, which I think I'm going to do in this episode, actually. Because I'm probably going to cut out a ton of that crap that I was just messing around with. So, um, I'll meet you guys there at the first room with the patch that I missed. Okay, I think we're here now, guys. This should be the right room, the third one from the left and from the right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's not balls this up this time, please. Like, seriously. I just want to prove to myself that it was a patch, because I'll, I'll never be able to go on in my life normally, not knowing if that was a patch or not. Alright, let's see here. I, did I screw myself out of this again? You gotta be shitting me if I did. I totally didn't. Okay, thank god. Because I screwed myself out of it last time, because I got rid of that platform in the middle, so I couldn't even jump up there for those guys. Thank good. See, that's not that hard to screw to keep your wits about you and do that. I think the, the last one for the treasure is going to be a lot harder, and that was a patch, so... There you go, if you ever wondered. Is it just me, or does the, do those cannons look like they have faces, almost? Like those gears on the end of them, that's kind of cool. Like faces with, with little mustaches, that's funny. Oh, by the way, we're here again. Oh my gosh. Talking about freaking mustache, clock faces, whatever they are. Alright, here we go again, third tries the charm. Uh, let's see if I can do this right, please. I mean, look how many freaking bombs you get. They give you so many chances at this. You just gotta be not stupid. There we go. I don't have shit for beads, because I was just speed running through this. Because I'm tired of doing this level. At least it has good music. Like I said, my favorite music in the freaking game. I don't have it memorized by a long shot, like I normally do with uh, most music. But most music that I enjoy. Alright. Come on, this should be... The crap. It hit the wall up there, man. That's the freaking thing that screws me about this one is that there's a that stupid high wall. If that wasn't there... Okay, th thank you, God! <laughs> Finally! Wasn't exactly nothing but net shot, but there you go. Finally got that freaking thing. Let's see. And I'm gonna be so thankful for this, because like I said, this music is awesome. Gourmet race. Gour is this... Huh. Oh yeah, it is the same. Oh, I forgot what the song was called even. Gourmet Race, that's what it is called, isn't it? It's a beautiful song, it really is. It's so intense, it reminds me of something you'd like hear in a circus or something. But it's like a circus of miscreants. Or something cool like that. Anyways, uh, I suppose I'll just finish the level now. And I'll meet you guys where I meet you. What pitiful bead count. At least I got, that got me up past 50,000 beads, at least. And there's the last treasure, so that should be good. Oh, nice, nice. Zeke came over to play. Okay, that's perfect. Because now I can go get Zeke's character fabric, too. While I go back to do Mare's minigame. And that is all the treasures in gold, so... 100% of that level. Sweet. Now let's go back to Quilty Square and see what business we've got to attend to there. And then after that, we really don't have much else to do except for, uh... The final boss. Like, holy crap. Like, I know it's really not going to be the finale, per se, because after that, I see that there's still a few more levels in Dreamland that you have to unlock. And I imagine that if you get enough beads during the boss itself, then um, you unlock those levels, because you get the patch, just like any other boss. I really dig this room, by the way. You really put your own touch on it. Yay! Oh, by the way, man, I almost forgot. Here's a little something for you. Don't worry, you're going to love it. It's super cool and Zeke approved. Aw, yeah. Look at that, man. I feel like Mega Man or something getting these character fabrics. Cool, yo. 
And I guess he can just, he's just going to hang around here for a little bit. That's fine. Enjoy the scenery, man. He loves that lollipop. Look at that. Hmm. I wonder if they're drawn, if like certain characters are drawn to certain furniture that you can put in your house. Probably. Who knows though? Who knows for certain? All right, Mara. I think you you were the one who had the mini game for me, right? If memory serves, and my memory does serve, it is Castle DDD Marathon. Let's do it. This music is kind of marathon-esque too. Well, it's not marathon-esque exactly. It's like, it's it's like I said before. It's like a freaking circus theme almost. But uh, it's nice and intense, so it'll keep you pumped up for the marathon. All right, man, that's not fair. I have to wait for the stupid cannibal, and you can just fly up there. Like, holy crap, that's not so unfair. But you know what? I actually have good practice with this because I had to go through the. For, I had to go through this level like three frickin' times just to get the treasure to get that right. So I'm pretty good at speedrunning this now, if I do say so myself. I really love that night sky right there, by the way. How it just goes outside for that brief moment. For that brief speck of time that you're just going through there. And you don't realize how much you appreciate it until you, like, actually take the time to look at it. But it's just so beauty. The contrast of the color. Crap, okay. I'm screwing myself up here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Are we almost there? Man, this is a long ass race. No, get the button. Thank you. Sweeto. Jeez, we still have a ways to go. Is this actually at the end of the level, this one? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think we've had one of those races yet where we actually race to the end of the level. Oh crap, I got screwed there. No, I forgot about the freaking countdown thing that happens. Oh, well, at least she takes frequent breaks. I don't know why she takes so frequent breaks. It's not like she really needs to. I mean, Kirby doesn't need to, and he's so much more plump than Mara. Look at him. It's like a frickin' potato. A little pink potato. Alright. We're almost there. Just gotta scale this, and it looks like we're pretty much at the end. Judging by that bar up there. Yup! There it is. And a wall barring you off. So restrictive. Damn it, get this wall out of my face! Get your face out of my place, wall! Wall master. Ooh, a new racing one. Hmm. Well, might as well, you know. Well, might as well. Might as well fall in the well, you well, you know. You wet well, well, well. Castle of DDD fabric. Neato. Neato, Cheeto. Might as well see what the other racing one is. Mole Hole. What's with all these, like, freaking minigames in early levels? Especially in Mole Hole. We've had, like, three of them here in recent times. In, like, the past ten episodes. Crazy. Reach the finish line first. That looks like it's at the bottom of the hole. So, gotta grab this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> she digs through that thing herself, too. That's funny. Okay. I'm... Kind of bad at maneuvering this mole thing, so pardon me if I fluke up here a little bit. It's still fun as hell to do this though. Just mashing the buttons. This is cr this is great, I tell you. Just dig, dig, dig. Oh crap! I'm going the wrong way. Crap! No, follow her. She knows where she's going apparently. Wait, no, she doesn't. What the ball, Mara? You totally. Tr no, wait, no, I can still go this way. Okay, that's good. I thought she tricked me there for a second. I was very, very confused and concerned all at the same time. Man, smashing through this like it's nothing. Go down, Kirby. Keep going. What the? No. Get that out of my face. Okay. Go down. Da, 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 da. You're almost there. You're almost there. Damn. Well, now I know the relative path through there, so I shouldn't be as stupid this time. Sweet. Looking good. We're making good time on this. Nice, nice, nice. That was per. Oh, wait, no. Keep going this way. Dummy. What the hell? Okay. I'm still in the lead! Okay, yeah, this is a piece of cake once you actually remember the frickin' level. Like, look at that. Destroyed! And she comes from the side, like, that's even possible. Wow. Like, in this level of all places, you think she at least come from the top, but... No such luck. Oh, yay! What time am I up to? I'm up to frickin' 31 minutes in this stupid recording. I know a lot, a lot of that's getting cut out. Actually, 32 minutes. But still... Ooh, what the hell was that? The Candlemander fabric? Is that an enemy? Or is that a boss that I don't remember? I think that's just an enemy, but that's a cool name for an enemy. Not Dark Man- Shit! 
I have bad memories of this place from just a few episodes ago, man. Why would you do this to me, Mara? You know, how could this happen to me?